hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> it's a day later, but let me check in with uh, a royal Mohawk chief, uh, which is the final, final little story. It's almost not like a story. Like it's not, it, it's not a legend like the other ones. This is a thing of recording how um, Prince Arthur, Duke of Connacht, uh, and the only surviving son of Queen Victoria, uh, was made into an Iroquois, uh, a Mohawk chief, um, um, which was a big thing because he was the fifty-first. There, they I guess have been set down in their kind of their constitution that there would only be fifty chiefs, but they made an exception and they made they made uh, Arthur. Um, who was a young boy, young boy at the time, uh, a chief. And it was on the occasion of his vis first visit to Canada in 1869 that, um, that he was made into a chief. And it is one of these interesting things. Um, I think it is a political act yet again. Uh, it kind of circles back to how... Uh, Sapalak, uh, Joe Capilano, Chief Joe Capilano, had they had met, had met Pauline Johnson, E. Pauline Johnson, in England on the occasion of him making his petition to the royals there about um, treaty rights and stuff like that. Something which, as far as I know, consistently the English uh, crown, the crown. Canada as well has consistently said, nope, we're not going to do, we don't do anything about that. Uh, and I think, you know, it's one of these things of the uh, native population. It definitely seems to be of an opinion of like it, it, they both know that as a reality, but they also know that we are talking from one, we're going over the head of all these governmental layers to what they consider to be like nation to nation dealing. And I think that in itself is the big thing. And so that it's a big deal to them that they uh, made uh, Arthur into one, one of the Mohawk, Mohawk chiefs. Um, and, you know, and it, it ends, it ends because this is Pauline's, Pauline's father, was um was a was was a was a participant in this as a boy himself in 1869 and um a father who apparently got beaten several times trying to actually restore kind of lawful behavior on the uh six nations reserve uh getting beaten so savagely at the end i think it was like kind of liquor and stuff like that beaten so savagely at the end that he just never recovered and died from his died died if not from the results of those injuries just never recovered his health and then eventually did die um yeah yeah so that is the the final story which i think it kind of goes circles back to my idea of this collection having very much a has has a political and ideological bent to it there's there's a driving purpose here which isn't just uh romantic the romantic legends of old this is this is no we're in we're we're engaged in a particular struggle here for our survival um i will say at the end here that pauline johnson is writing in kind of that kind of uh late victorian kind of Edwardian, I guess, at this point, kind of, there's, there is sentimentality in her work. Um, she is a show woman. She's definitely someone who is, is, is aiming to seduce the reader to, uh, to get them caught up in the story. Uh, this is dry recitation, which I think is actually much to its favor. Um, at least, you know, for my reading. Um, uh, but it's 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 also you could say it is definitely it is concealing uh probably a lot of anger and a lot of of hurt and a lot of damage um in the telling of this story uh not pointing any uncomfortable figure fingers not too many fingers just by implication fingers at uh the uh, colonial 
people and government of Canada. But um, I think it's still there. I just think it's still there. So, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that work. And, um, yeah, it seems like I think if you if you haven't picked up on the kind of the political going through this, you would find this last last thing puzzling. And even even me, it's like, oh, OK, this is an interesting place to end on. We've had all these legends and now we have them uh, not even in 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 um, in in uh, not even in Vancouver regions. We have this story of a royal getting turned made into a Mohawk chief a Mohawk chief. Um, but you can see kind of as, as the thing, as, as the, as what I've outlined, that it does tie back into the very beginning of this story and that meeting between Pauline, uh, John, between Johnson and Sapaluk. So yeah, I will leave it there. More videos later.